a second woman has come forward with an allegation of harassment against Dustin Hoffman a day after the actor was forced to apologize for his past behavior. Writer and producer Wendy R. Iasis Gatsunis claims that Hoffman propositioned her during a pitch meeting in 1991, an encounter which she says left her close to tears. Speaking to Variety, R. Iasis Gatsunis said that the meeting had originally been set up with Hoffman and Tootsie screenwriter Murray Skizigal to discuss a prospective film adaptation of her play A Darker Purpose. However, at the meeting's outset, Hoffman allegedly asked her Iasis Gatsunis, who was in her 20s, whether she had had sex with a man over 40. He'll never forget, he moves back, he opens his arms, and he says, it would be a whole new body to explore, R. Iasis Gatsunis said. R. Iasis Gatsunis says that Hoffman later asked her to go clothes shopping at a nearby hotel, a suggestion that left her completely flustered. R. Iasis Gatsunis declined the offer. Skizigal then told her Hoffman was not interested in working with her. The whole thing was just a source of torment for me. I was just this writer and he had been my hero, and it stayed with me for a long time, said R. Iasis Gatsunis. In a statement about the claims, Skizigal told Variety that he had no recollection of this meeting, or of any of the behavior or actions described. The Guardian is seeking comment from Hoffman. The allegation is the second made against Hoffman in two days, following a claim by Anna Graham Hunter, who worked as a production intern in 1985 on a Death of a Salesman TV movie, starring Hoffman and John Malkovich. Hunter, who was 17 at the time of the alleged incident, wrote in The Hollywood Reporter that the actor had groped her and spoken inappropriately about sex with her. Hoffman responded to her claims, saying I have the utmost respect for women and feel terrible that anything I might have done could have put her in an uncomfortable situation. I'm sorry. The allegations against Hoffman come at a time when Hollywood is contending with a number of stories of sexual abuse by men in the industry, including producer Harvey Weinstein, director James Tuback, actor Kevin Spacey and filmmaker Brett Ratner.